It's point I call that history. Fuck around and grill a pig like some rotisserie. Give a fuck about who you think you is. Don't trust the industry. Why you wanna be my enemy? You should really let me be, cause really you can't fuck with me. Nah, you can't fuck with me. Lil' bitch, and yes, I took my heat. Yes, I love to redo. That made me LAME or WISC. My third eye open, I can see. Must protect my inner peace. No response, I can't give you my energy. I don't follow trends, cause bitch, I'ma just keep. Hi, it's Ununi, y'all back with another video. We're gonna jump straight into it as we always do. I wanted to get into a few topics today. Um, some that are kind of interesting and also I've been asked, I would say from others, just as far as like questions on these type of topics. Um, some of my favorite topics just happened to as well, which is astral projection and also dream, like the dream rhythm and how the dream rhythm necessarily works. So we're gonna jump straight into it. A lot of people be wanting to know what is astral projection. Um, it's about understanding as well that when it comes to the astral realm, majority of the things you t that you see is real. Even if it's like exaggerated to an extent, to some form, it resonates with your soul on a soul level. Um, maybe like something that you're needing to know or bring back with you to this realm for like self growth and learning things and like analyzing basically different things about your life. A lot of us have the ability to be able to like um, open and close portals, and so. With that being said, it's just very important and being mindful of what type of portals are you necessarily opening up and what are you, what type of energy are you allowing yourself to channel in a sense. And so it's like with astral projecting, it's the same thing as taking like a shroom strip or something. It's important for you to kind of be in the best state as possible because a lot of times there are things on the other side that that can intend to bring themselves back to this realm for certain purposes or it's like if you alarmed a certain entity in a different dimension or it's like you do cross certain territories and different things like that um they have trackers that can basically like track you back a lot of us have the ability to be able to like um open and close portals and so with that being said it's just very important and being mindful of what type of portals are you necessarily opening up and what are you what type of energy are you allowing yourself to channel in a sense and so it's like with astral projecting it's the same thing as taking like a shroom strip or something. It's important for you to kind of be in the best state as possible because a lot of times there are things on the other side that that can intend to bring themselves back to this realm for certain purposes. Or it's like if you alarmed a certain entity in a different dimension or it's like you, you cross certain territories and different things like that, um, they have trackers that can basically like track you back. It's like when we were in school, they kind of like stripped our imagination away from us. And so it was like, as you become adults, you believe that that's like the fake world and the world that we're living in, in reality is reality. When in reality, the 3D is the fake kind of like matrix type of reality and world. And meanwhile, the imagination or the world that you're kind of constantly drifting onto is a world that is recognizable to your soul, somewhere that your soul misses or kind of like want to be or have been before, you know? I feel like children have the, of course, open veil to be able to see things that we necessarily like cannot see, have not seen or do not see. I feel like they naturally um, remember a lot of things and naturally know how to do a lot of things as well that we kind of are doing wrong. If like with my child, I be peeping and pay attention. Sometimes like he'll tell me like awful, like tell me about myself in a sense. And I am okay with being a teacher to children. And you know, I feel like that's something that we have to learn to do is learn to submit more when it comes to like our children and just children in general. I feel like um, a lot of times people have necessary like control issues dealing with children. Like um, it's like you have control issues in life in general. So because of the fact that you're kind of able to mold these kids how you want them to be, or because of the fact that you know you have like that power or like authority over that child, you tend to kind of like go on this evil um, trip or like this control trip to where like you're basically um, it's like basically going on a power trip you know that's the best way that i can kind of like describe or explain it um i also wanted to just happen to get into like the dream realm and like messages and how that kind of works um yeah so with like messages i receive a lot of downloads and messages um from my dream state i tend to try to i don't write them down i do the audio but at times like i don't and recently i've been kind of like forgetting a lot of my dreams but i also feel like that's for a reason like sometimes I'm so far into the future that spirit don't like they don't want me excuse me y'all they don't want me to like know certain things or whatever so it's like um they kind of like block me off from remembering it because I tend to like um Tom I guess I can the best way I can describe it or explain it you can 
also basically like solve and create in this realm as well it's a place where like in a dream set you kind of like try to resolve a lot of your issues that you have on the 3d realm and also um being told certain things that you may not know so sometimes i'd be loving going to sleep for that very reason you feel me but yeah um yeah spirit wanted to emphasize on how important it is to to listen to the children at this time um oh it's also like a thing where you can kind of like meet your soulmates before they actually come in the spirit realm i know a lot of times with me like that's the thing as far as like me seeing different people that's in my energy before they're actually in my energy type vibes not only that but um kind of like karmic relationships as well like people that are kind of like lingering in your energy still sometimes you tend to dream about them and i also wanted to tap into like the sexual experiences dealing with the dream realm as well you can also basically like solve and create in this realm as well it's a place where like in a dream state you kind of like try to resolve a lot of your issues that you have on the 3d realm and also um being told certain things that you may not know so sometimes i'd be loving going to sleep for that very reason you feel me but yeah um yeah spirit wanted to emphasize on how important it is to to listen to the children at this time um oh it's also like a thing where you can kind of like meet your soulmates before they actually come in the spirit realm i know a lot of times with me like that's the thing as far as like me seeing different people that's in my energy before they're actually in my energy type vibes not only that but um kind of like karmic relationships as well like people that are kind of like lingering in your energy still sometimes you tend to dream about them and i also wanted to tap into like the sexual because we know we have the succubus and incubus energy right i feel that a lot of times we tend to like have these type of ex experiences and i feel like if you are constantly or consistently having dreams like this then more than likely you are working from a lustful type of space or you have people that's around you in your energy that you are like allowing within your energy that has like strong you know like lustful energy you know um it's, it needs to be a balance between that like lust is okay but it has to be a balance with it also basically like real experiences don't like pertaining towards sex as well like a lot of times you can meet your soulmate or like a twin flame or again yeah like someone that you are spiritually connected to in that realm and y'all actually meet up on the 50 to like have sex you know that's a thing as well so it's like understanding and learning the difference and knowing the difference as well being able to tell when it's unwanted pleasure versus wanted pleasure you know um yeah i think that was all that I, oh past over loved ones i wanted to tap into that as well like you can it's a thing where you can basically like meet your people that have passed away you know um they come into you in the dream room giving you messages coming to just talk or visit you those are real experiences more than likely you visited the realm state you know how they like they tend to like to say um i wish heaven had visiting hours but like it does you know what i mean like they, they come to visit us and we do vice versa it's all about remembrance and training the mind and the brain to remember and also understand the process of life after death if you guys wanted videos on tips about grieving and also just tapping more into like death and my visualization and viewpoint on it we can do that you can drop some um i guess topic videos in the comments as well for anyone having any type of topics that they're necessarily wanting me to tap into i think all of my subscribers as well y'all are the best great <laughs> um i hope that everyone is having a beautiful and blessed day today if not it's okay to change the energy around and make it what you need it or want it to be love and light to you all in the atmosphere i can feel the envy i can't sell my soul now see i'd rather let you kill me but i can never die no not really only physically i've been through a lot but i can't let none of that get to me because if i do then i am being my own enemy i educate the youth and i am nothing like celebrities i can't break the law that's breaking me that's what you tell us for the system i'm gonna say that shit a thousand times that shit is sickening they done told us like ten thousand lies we want the sheep cause they still sleep then they ask so surprised when the truth come out before their eyes i'm still don't recognize when you speak the truth you put your life up on the line and if you don't cause you say that you living in a lie i'm speaking fast this ain't just rap see i just make it rhyme falling off my purpose it ain't worth i did that many times